So once the installation receive, uh, reaches this point, so we can either install by connecting the devices or install the um, drivers or related uh, <coughs> um, device uh, um, technology related uh, things um, by clicking on the right one. So uh, if you already have the board plugged in, so just uh, connect, uh, <coughs> click on this and you can see here when I clicked on this, it says uh, uh, no devices found because nothing is connected. So what I'll do is, uh, um, let me just try to plug in the board here. So this device, um, so over USB, when you, uh, in the first video which we have shown, uh, you must have received uh, um, the <coughs> cable, uh, additional cable uh, and uh, the board. So just plug in the USB cable there and try to plug in here. So yes, you can see here that when once we plugged in, uh, it was able to find the adapter and it is just asking for installation. Okay, so click on this and say next. So what we can select is, uh, yeah, what we can do is you can say auto. Uh, so that uh, uh, Simplicity Studio will help to install uh, the required packages. You, you see the next option here. So on the left, if you see already the board uh, ID is red. Um, you can see here double four zero two double five seven nine zero uh, EFM32. So that means the board uh, uh, is detected with its ID, which is good. Um, so it meant that the board is in working condition and uh, um, right now it is under the process of uh, uh, installing the packages. So once you select the packages, accept the agreements and then go to next, you can see here it's just installing. So the installation takes some time. You can see here it's just uh, mm, uh, trying to install uh, the packages. So once the installation is done, uh, you see this message restart of uh, uh, the Simplicity Studio uh, is required now. So seems like uh, an error has occurred. Uh, might be uh, there might be internet glitch or something. So we'll just try to see out, but once uh, uh, your installation is done, um, <coughs> there might be a, uh, you see that installation completed and uh, uh, the Simplicity Studio has to be restarted. So we restarted the Simplicity Studio. So it again, I, every time when you uh, try to restart Simplicity Studio, it, it starts for, uh, it asks for login unless you uh, put remember me. So once you log in, uh, it uh, uh, prepares the installation options and uh, checks if any previous installation is not done properly or not. So just we will uh, see again. Um, okay. We have selected auto. Uh, so it just started installing uh, uh, the pending ones. Uh, so we'll see uh, the um, pending installation, completion, and uh, try to see the IDE uh, on what appear, uh, what appears uh, in the IDE post um, the successful installation. You can see here during the installation, uh, it says cloning SDK. That means the software development kit that is uh, related to the microcontroller. Uh, um, gets installed and uh, <clears throat> the relevant drivers and all uh, the basic interface level drivers and all once you generate the code uh, it pulls uh, from the SDK.
once uh, the installation is complete you can see here installation complete and restart uh, is required now so once everything is installed properly uh, you can see here uh, under under connected devices you have uh, the jlink silicon labs uh, uh, device uh, with id connected and you can see here it is a thunderbird efm 32 gg12 so uh, that means the installation is proper and all the drivers got uh, installed so you can start working on the board from then on um,